Hello guys, today we're going to be doing a, um, a review on our ball bag because our other one is too small. And I'll show you it now. So this there it is. It can only hold a certain amount of um, balls because it's oh, a bit like this long. Right, we're going to get how many in there? Come. Five. One, two, three, four, five, five balls. So this is there, a, so. Some So we went to where did we get where did we get this one? Sports Direct. How much? Um nine ninety nine. Actually it wasn't nine ninety nine because they had a twenty percent sale. So it ended up seven ninety nine, even better. Now we've had one of these before and I think because we over filled it, what happened? Um, the handle broke. So you're like yeah, having yeah. it carrying like this when you're carrying a bin bag in your, like your hands and it's a bit of a strain so you couldn't carry it over your shoulder. So I figured this time we'll get one and we won't put as many because it says sort of good ball bag and how many balls? Ten balls back. Ten balls back. There. So just open it, open it up. Okay, so it's double the amount of the alcohol. So we've got this uh, mesh, what's this like, kind of a, okay. yeah, a mesh meshy thing. We've got a handle, um, yeah, it's, so it's cheap and cheerful, but this is the bit that went, the handle here, so we just won't overfill it. I think the other handle is actually on the other one. Yeah, right. Yeah, quite so the other handle looks like this. It's this. It's this long strip here. This strip, yeah. And what about this one? And this is what? Um, and that one. Whoa. Cord. Cord. Right, cord. cord. And you just yes, draw string. So we put cord. Let's let's get the um. That, so that's um. Well, let's get. We'll put this over. We have to keep moving things. Get that one over. Oh, move that out of the way. So just show you what we've got in our board bag because it's important I believe from what I've read that you try and do use different types of balls so we've got one of these we've got from sports right this is not bad because not that expensive quite cheap but it's a size which one is this what size is this size three size three so that's size three we've got a yeah, second another size three, size three. And then we've got this. Then we've got the skills board that we did a review on. The Mamba board, which is basically like a basketball that's basically textured. And we haven't tried it. Striking with it was. How did you find striking with it? Quite hard. I don't think it's meant to be for striking. But it says for striking practice mm -hmm. on it though. I thought it, it feels soft. Skills. For skills, so. It's, we haven't pumped it up a lot because it was too hard, so we may try to pump it up a little bit more because it's a bit flat. We'll try again, we'll try the skills on it. That's another one. And then we've got a standard, what size is a standard football? We've got a Champions League size 5 football. But, but it's just like a copy, it's not a real official I know type. It's, so yeah, it's size 5. Size 5. Um, and then we've got, what we've got in here? I think the nicest of all the balls we've got. Who's this one? Is this one? It's kind of awesome um, sports direct. This one's, I think, size three. It's size three, and it's a really it's nice ball. So we've got no one needs in the garden at the moment. So what we're planning to do, we've got only deeds, and we've got other footballs, two in the car. Let's just sit in the car, and we've also got. We may keep one in the car for in case we're about out and about and using it. We don't have this, and we've got a couple in the garden. So we're going to try and get them all in. So instead of going after footballs, and one of the things that. Um, <laughs> on Uniport, that, that one, the presenter called Jolter said, he said, instead of getting, maybe if you can't afford lots of fancy football boots, if you want to train and practice a lot, just buy. just buy loads of footballs, and then you can practice and train a lot, because like they always say, all of them say, Josh from... Soccer um, soccer for a year. Say that louder. Soccer for a year. Uh, but if it's for you, he said it's not the 
boots that make a player, it's the ability and practice and training. And that's what Jod says, that's what um, J Mike, Mike says as well, new in sport. And that's what everybody says, basically, it's true. It's nice to have nice football boots, isn't it? Like you have got nice football boots, haven't you? Mm -hmm. But it's not going to make you a better player. So all this stuff out of reviewing and all these things about laces, it's just because you want to get things right. We're going to um, do that in another video, aren't we? We're going to do a feedback on the laces. Yes. Yep. Uh, and your... Your alpha... Alpha skin. Yeah, alpha skin. So we're going to do a review of that. So anyway, get rid of those. Let's put them aside. So we're going to try that out, get back to you about the bag, um, try that out and hopefully see if we can get it not too much bit bounce balls back there. But we're going to check, show you something else, which is, again, I bought from, we opened this, so we're not doing an unboxing. This is a Sonico kind of football training bag. It comes with stuff. And this is from, again, Sports Direct. So should we open it? Open it up, guys. And we'll get the stuff out. Okay, so you first. You unzip this bit, you unzip this bit. So first we're going to say, let, let's, let's just show what we've actually got in, what we actually come with, what it comes with, not what's in here, so, but what you get with this is, because we're going to show you some. So, first what you get is, first you, first you get some cones, around that many, About, but we already, it, it, we already, already had, had all some, this. So these so. Are 20, I think 25 of these little cone things, they're quite handy for. What they thought good for marking. Dribbling around the cones, marking areas, and um, yeah. It's quite good, yes, it's quite simple. You know, like that, just quite light. So that's one one thing. And then we've got um uh we've got hurdles. Okay. Hurdles, which are good for stepping over in speed and Head getting in. heading and you know for putts and headwind, because you have to jump over each one and you kind of make you move. And then one of the things that's really good for movement, agility. get out of your, what is it? Agility. It's an agility ladder. So this is basically a load, it's basically, looks like a ladder, but it's a load of plasticky, um, bits of plastic on a kind of, this nylon kind of belt, and you spread it out, and uh, you just have to do different practice. There's lots of things on YouTube about how to use them. You know, movement in between each one to get your footwork good, because football's all about the footwork as well, isn't it? So, so that's the bag. It's kind of mess. It's pretty good. But what all these few things we put in it as well. So that's what came with the um, bag. So. Um, it's okay, it's not bad, it's good pack, it's a nice bag to carry things in. But also a few other things, so we'll put the bag on the side and we put in. So we've got another thing that's good when you're um, playing football, if you're going to be goalie, is people shooting at you, you don't want to hurt your hands or damage your hands. So but we just got these. But when I'm in goal, I use smaller yeah, kit ones. Stuff. Yeah, Kipster, these are a company from Decathlon. And they've got a Decathlon near us, haven't we? Yeah. Next to the Asda. Asda. Yeah, next to the Asda. Next to the Etihad Stadium. Near the, At no, near the Etihad Stadium, yeah. Good. Open. Where are they? Mm, that's Go and get them now, if I can get your gloves. Okay, so we've got these ones, these are hips, so they're an adult kind of size, they're a bit big for um, these guys when they're in goal. Um, but I usually go in goal. And then we've got um, the Kipster, so these are, what are they, size 9, and I think you can measure, it's quite good that place, you're measuring things up. And then you've got, um, he's got, we've got a while ago, these quite a while ago, small, <laughs> really small, just about fit your hand, they don't fit your hand, do you? So you're 8, so this is kind of... I don't know if I've got labelling for the size. Young Pro. So they're nothing special, but they're handy. Is it in here? It's in one. In one of us? Yeah, uh -huh, here we go. Let's see size, because it's worth knowing about size. So this would fit an eight year old. Does it size? Ah, oh, here we go. Size, size four. If you all know. Size four, so they just we'll keep them in the bag as well because they're handy. Um, the other thing we've got in is 
tennis balls. So why are we using tennis balls? Because these really irritate you. They really irritate you using these, don't they? Harder to control. And? Harder to shoot. Yep. And it helps you with your dribbling and touches on the ball. What do we use it for as well? Oh, dribbling round cones. And you guys hate using it, don't you, these? Yeah. They're but they're good. Them. They're good, yeah, they're good because they say we've got the different size ball, um, footballs. Why? Because, um, um, because then you can have a bigger variation. Yeah, go on. And um, in training, we use big balls or small balls. Yeah. yeah. But, but mostly we use small balls. Yeah, so this, what size are they? Um, size three, the small balls. Yeah, and we also got some of the other ones. Where are the other ones? The um, the Nike ones we bought. The Barcelona ones. We're going to use those, well, aren't we? So, so yeah, we're going. He's. You're going to get those. All right. Okay. So, I will show you those. Well, so we're going to take those as well. So we've got different sizes. We've got the tennis ball. We have size one. We'll show you in a second. And we've got the size. Do you have size tennis ball, size one? Do you have one size? Three. Yeah, size three and a size? Five. Size five. So we've got selection, so we try different touch, different feels, some a bit flatter, some a bit more harder. So that makes it, yeah, and here we go. We only use um, the blue one, the, this ball in, in the house. In the house, so we may take one of them. Should we take one of them? Yeah. We'll take one of them. We'll keep one in the house because it's you can use it in the house. So you use one in the house. Um I'm gonna keep it out because you don't want to get muddy and mucky and then you know people aren't really happy with making a mess in the house. So that's good a thing and um so this was six pounds from night so which is probably a bit pricey but um the other alternative was buying some Sondico ones from Sports Direct, I'm not sure how much they were. They may have been a little bit cheaper, but I suppose that the Nike is going to be a bit better quality. So, mm. Although they're not, it's not a very fancy board, it's basic board. Barca. Barcelona. Barcelona. Okay, so that's that. And then inside the bag, we also have. I keep my. my G Form shin pads, because I wear them. And because I'm driving to the place, I can't wear these. You guys can wear your boots on the way. So my um, Nike boots that we did a um, vapors. We did a, a materials. Yeah, that we did. Uh, Mercurial vapors. Vapor vapors that are um, are AG, AG, AG. So a smaller studs. Remember, smaller stud. You should never use firm ground boots on. Concrete. Obviously um, not concrete, um, obviously. Uh, uh, and well? Uh, the fake grass, I mean, um, AstroTurf. AstroTurf or Because they uh, grip too much and you can twist your ankle. You can hurt your ankle, but also you can do what to this? What happens, can you do to sole plate as well? Break. You can damage it, yeah. They recommend it. But the good thing about Adidas is that the old Adidas ones are FGAG, so you can use it for firm ground and for AstroTurf. And also, yeah, so these are, okay. I have a bit of feedback on these. They were the right size when I tried the equivalent sock equivalent, which were the... Um, Mercurial and um, Superfly. Superfly, yeah, he's got a Superfly, Superfly sock one. So tried, tried, tried them in uh, sports, right? and they fitted fine as a size 8. Got these from Product Sports, and they are very uncomfortable and very tight because I only wear them a bit on a Sunday for an hour or two when I do wear them it's very uncomfortable on the Monday after Sunday Monday and Tuesday we went on Sunday Monday and Tuesday my feet were still on feeling quite <laughs> uncomfortable so you do you do live and you learn with these things so all I can say if you can find a shop that sells the boots you often I want to get these because they're meant to be very good they're the um Pro version, there's probably elite, but they said they're meant to be very good boots for the price, so that's why I got them. Um, but they're very uncomfortable. We do when we I used to climb, and you got you still climb, don't you? Yes. Um, the, the, the climbing shoes are very tight and I feel uncomfortable 
uh, that's what this video is like climbing shoes. So I'm hoping they're going to break in a bit more, but we'll have to see. Um, what else have we got? So keep them in the bag as well, so don't forget them or leave them or whatever. And uh, the other thing we've got is a pump. A pump. A ball pump. A ball pump. And this is just like a bicycle pump I had from before. I would just use it, little valve on the end, and screw that bit. Oh, for over there. <laughs> and put the valve on its end and, and uh, off you go. If you want to um, do the, uh, if we want to uh, inflate the boards a bit. Um, and that's it, I think, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, um, the instructions. Oh, the instructions, yeah. The only other thing we've got in here that we haven't really used at the moment is the member for that member board, the, the yellow textured board that's like a basketball with you know, texturing on it. I just show you different things. It meant to help you develop this uh, kind of first control, increase it, improve it. We'll see, we haven't tried it yet. Um, so that's it, isn't it? So uh, we've got this kit, this is what we use for our training. We follow videos like, um, different videos, Unisport has some good stuff and 442, YouTube 442, Unisport. Um, what's it now? Will John, he's an African American, uh, really funny, intelligent, really good, skillful professional footballer, and there's a lot of really great benefit. He's professional footballer plays in Denmark, I think, at the moment. Professional footballer talks about nutrition, talks about training, talks about recovery, talks about um, uh, mindset, about confidence. His videos are excellent. He does a bit of a joke and a thing at the beginning sometimes, some funny stuff. But I normally skip that. And then we look at his, um, he explains to a lot of talks about, you know, how to practice striking your left foot, how to agility your ladders, different techniques, different skills, different dribbling and ways of dribbling, um, increasing shot, how you should shoot. He breaks down simple things, slows things down, explains it fully. Brilliant video, absolutely brilliant. I, we strongly recommend that, don't we? Yes. Yeah, um, so you don't need to have anything fancy, just a few bits and bobs, different size balls. I know we've got quite a lot. You Probably a lot of people say, like these guys say, you just need a ball. That's all you need is a ball. But we've got these things to help us. You can even, um, he said in one video about dribbling, you don't even need you know cones, you just get a glove. He said he put two gloves down, he said dribble around there, you just use your bit of imagination. And the big thing they say is to um, what to do, to just, just play, isn't it? Yeah. Just play football. That's basically what you do when you go to Kings, isn't it? You just, you just play, play, play freely, play football, play freely, be your confidence, enjoy it as well. Um, because um, too many people take it too seriously. And I think who are the biggest people that take it seriously sometimes? Rubbish. No, no. I mean who normally take serious not we're not talking about the children play we talk about who who take it too seriously some no oh. uh, you guys uh, all the people involved with you guys who take it too seriously do you think the coaches and the parents oh. a lot of the time the coaches and parents take it too serious make it too serious and meant to be about you guys having fun and enjoying part of having the fun though is getting Winning. winning but also is actually enjoying yourself. enjoying yourself and getting better. better because when you get better you try different things and you see the benefit again just like yeah okay. yeah so just like you know when you're improving your football hmm? Hmm? yeah so part of enjoying is what we what happened today where's your thing so we talked about um so you, um, you had a very important match today, didn't you? Talk about enjoying it. Yeah. And and you won it, and I got this trophy. So put up this way, put there, so there. So so you got this trophy, cup final, and uh, those. The, the goal posts we got in the back, the the net we got in the back. Whose whose channel is that on? Mine. Is it 
awesome kid youtuber to awesome kid youtube we've gone that you can see there what we've got in the back garden our back garden and we were just um what we were doing the day before the two last two days before um um yesterday and the day before thursday mm. and friday in the back garden we were practicing no, yeah, in practicing um, taking shots and shooting. shooting and uh, how many goals did you score in the cup final oh four and what what's the other and my dad has to get me an Nintendo <laughs> switch because I scored four goals mm. and games. And games, yeah. That was the deal, anyway. So, um, yeah, so well done, well done, brilliant. And how's the, uh, what was that other one, one of the goals you scored, were they? Hmm? What was it? One of the goals you scored? Oh, a penalty, was it? It wasn't a penalty, he handballed it. Where did he handball it? He didn't handball it in the area, didn't he? So what was it? Hey. A free kick. Oh yeah, and and it scored. I scored. Yeah, it's a brilliant. So in the end, we won. What was the score? Final score? Eleven. Eight. Eleven seven. Yeah, eleven seven. That's no, good. eleven eight. Eleven seven. Yeah. So anyway, let's finish. Okay, so guys, please um. Um, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Peace out. <coughs> see you next time.